Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about how many calories that you need to eat in order to lose weight and build muscle. Let's dive in. Welcome back to another video guys watching this video here's a list of things that you will learn one we're gonna talk about what exactly is a calorie two how do calories relate when it comes to fat loss weight loss and muscle gain three how many calories do you actually need to eat each day in order to make sure you're losing weight Four, if you're trying to build muscle we'll talk about the difference between what it takes to lose fat and then how many calories you need to be eating in order to build muscle before we dive in to the meat of the video here here, no pun intended make sure you stay until the end of the video because two other important things that we need to talk about one your actual structure of your weightlifting program or your exercise component we also need to talk about your protein intake let's talk about calories first what is a calorie a calorie is a unit of energy it's the amount of heat that your body produces when it burns one gram of food another way of thinking of it it's the amount of energy that it takes to break down the fats, the carbohydrates, and the proteins that you eat. If you're wondering how many calories each gram of food takes, for fats, there's actually nine calories per one gram of fat. And then for proteins and carbohydrates, there's four calories per one gram of each of those macronutrients. If you're wondering what a macronutrient is, either a fat, a protein, or a carbohydrate, and it's the three main sources that our body uses in order to function properly and have energy. I've been a trainer for eight years now, and one thing I wanna talk about before we dive into the numbers is I want you to understand that there's a difference between losing weight and building a lean physique. The first thing every single trainer does or should do is talk about whatever your goals are. The common scenario for me, I would sit down with a new client and ask them, what are your goals? A lot of the time they'll say, I wanna lose 15 pounds. 20 pounds and then I would ask him why that number and then they would always say well that was the weight I used to be at when I was so and so and I felt this way and my clothes fit better but I asked them the next question was that the body of your dreams and often they'll say well no the opportunity is for you to understand the difference if you came to me and said Pierce I want to lose 20 pounds I said okay great what if you lost 20 pounds and sure your clothes fit better you'll look a little different but you really didn't have the muscle definition the tone physique that you want would you really be happy the answer is probably no or scenario B if I said what if you only lost we'll say 12 pounds but you took your shirt off and you were just completely ripped and shredded to the bone you felt energized you were focused you felt super strong in your body or if you're a woman what if you lost that 20 pounds but you're frail and just skinnier and smaller is that what you really want or do you want to look like you know a gym girl right with a big old peach booty definition in your arms have a little definition in your midsection what if you only lost 10 pounds and you looked like that what scenario would you rather have when i would give this scenario to my clients I would ask them, you know, do you just want to lose weight or do you really just want to build the body of your dreams? Always, always, always. It's well, I'd rather look and feel that way. Again, do not attach to just what the scale says, your overall body weight. There's so much more that goes along with actually building the body that you want. I just want to make sure that you're clear on the difference between the two because what you really want is you want to look better naked. That's what everybody wants when they want to get in shape. Now that we understand what a calorie is, and we're more in alignment and understanding what we're actually going for, which is not weight loss, but pure body fat loss. Let's talk about calories and how it relates specifically to fat loss and gaining muscle. When you want to count your calories for fat loss, you're gonna be in a calorie deficit, meaning you're eating less calories than whatever your maintenance normal day-to-day -day level is. When you wanna build muscle, you need to be in a calorie surplus, meaning that you're eating more calories than whatever your maintenance level is. Before we dial in the numbers for the actual calories that you need to eat to lose fat or build muscle, first thing that we have to do is figure out what are called your maintenance calories or your baseline calories. The way that we do this is something online called a total daily energy expenditure calculator. In other words, a TDEE -E calculator. 
I'll make sure to link a very simple basic TDEE calculator in the description box below for you guys. So very simple on how to use this. Go to the TDEE calculator. You just punch in your stats. It's gonna ask for your gender, your height, your age, your weight, and your activity level. I use an example of a 200 pound college baseball player. So we'll say that this guy is 200 pounds, and he's 25 years old, and he's six foot, and his body fat percentage is currently 19%. What this guy's goal is, we'll name him John. On the TDEE calculator, you're gonna punch in John stats 25 years old six feet 200 pounds <clears throat> he's currently at 19% body fat it's gonna ask you his activity level well we're gonna say since John wants to get in shape and he's been out of shape we're gonna say light exercise that he's only working out one to three times a week after you punch in John stats it's gonna come out with a list of different numbers. You'll get one main number that's highlighted, and this main number is John's maintenance calorie level. His maintenance calorie level is 2,691 calories a day. So now that we have John's maintenance calories, let's talk about what John needs to do to get shredded. There's 3,500 calories and one pound of pure body fat. If there's 3,500 calories and one pound of pure body fat, look at over the course of one week, seven days, what we need to put John in is a calorie deficit of 500 calories per day. 500 calories a day times seven days a week equals 3,500 calories. We wanna aim to lose one pound of pure body fat per week. Doing it in this way, where it's gradual and sustainable, again, ensures that you're losing pure body fat and not muscle mass. This is what I have found for myself and for my clients to be the best way in order to really shred down and lose pure body fat and maintain your physique. This method that I just taught you is how I was able to do this transformation right here. So that's how we calculate calories in order for you to get shredded. The main difference between calculating your calories for fat loss versus muscle gain, fat loss, you wanna be in a calorie deficit below your maintenance calories. And then if you wanna put on muscle mass, it's just the opposite. We need to be in a calorie surplus. The way we calculate your calorie surplus for building muscle is we start with that same baseline amount of calories. So let's take John again, for instance. You still do the same exact calculations with the TDEE calculator and it gives you your baseline calorie level. So John's baseline calorie level was 2,691 calories a day. From there, the general rule of thumb is that you just wanna add on 100 to 300 calories on top of that maintenance level. You can add on more all the way up to an extra 500 calories, but here's the thing when you do that, man. You're setting yourself up to put on muscle and fat. You're gonna be a chunky boy. You're gonna be all bulked out. And if the goal is to put on muscle, lean muscle and still maintain some of the cuts and the physique, you don't wanna go that high. If you need or want help with your workout or nutrition program directly, I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and I have a link in the description below that you can click on to apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. The next thing that you wanna do is make sure you watch the next video that I have right here for you guys, which is about protein intake. So go ahead and give that video a watch. Stay tuned for the workout videos and I'll see you next time. Peace.